five brain facts that will blow your mind. This is the Quick Brain Podcast. I am your host, Jim Quick, and I'm here today, as always, to help you learn quickly, to build better, brighter brains. Now, today is World Brain Day. So we have prepared for you a very special episode where you'll learn the five mind-blowing facts that are our most valuable asset around the human brain. You might have noticed that I often point with my index finger to my head because I want to remind you that even though we don't see the brain, it controls everything in our lives. And what you see, you take better care of. And so learning about your brain and how it works is one of the most valuable skills that you could conquer in the 21st century. All right. Are you ready? Let's get started. Fact number one, about 75% of your brain is made up of water. And you know this in high school biology, this high water content is essential for maintaining its structure and its function. Did you know that the water in your brain serves as a cushioning and shock absorbing mechanism, helping to protect it from impact injuries? Many of you know I had a TBI, a traumatic brain injury when I was a child. So this is a cause that I'm extremely passionate about it. So proper hydration can reduce the risk of head injuries and support overall brain health. But there are more cognitive benefits to staying hydrated. Here are just three of them. Number one, it supports your concentration, your attention, and overall mental clarity. Who doesn't want more of that? How do you maintain your focus in a world full of distractions? You can drink more water. Number two, staying hydrated helps to balance out your mood and your emotions. Research has shown that dehydration can contribute to feelings of fatigue, irritability, and anxiety, while adequate hydration is associated with improved mood and mental resilience. Number three, Staying hydrated contributes to a better memory. Who doesn't want to turn I forgot into I remember, right? Therefore, this means that dehydration, even as small as 2%, can have a negative effect on your cognitive functions. And if you're wondering how much water you should drink to keep optimal brain function, the answer is it depends. It depends on your body mass, your environment, and your activity level. But a good baseline is about eight glasses of water per day. All right. Let's go to fact number two. And this is a special one for individuals who tend to have Slack open and then they switch to social media while also doing X, Y, and Z. The truth is your brain cannot multitask. What the research shows is that multitasking is actually not possible. It's more of a myth. What you're really doing is something called task switching. That is, we're quickly switching back and forth between different tasks rather than doing them at the same time. You might think you're gaining multiple things at once, but switching from task to task can take you anywhere from one to two to three to four to five to 10 minutes to regain your focus because you're using a certain pattern of your neural network that is activated to do one task. And when you switch over to do something else, it takes time and it takes energy to activate a new task and to deactivate another. In fact, research shows that your error rate, the mistakes that you make, goes up 50% when you try multitasking and it takes twice as long to do things. For example, we know surgeons who try to multitask during surgery will make more surgical errors. Even when we try to drive and text at the same time, which you should not do, we're many more times likely to have an accident because we do not cognitively switch very easily. So how do you maintain your focus in a world full of rings and pings and dings? Do one thing at a time time. I have a whole podcast episode about how to monotask and I'll leave the link in the show notes at jimquick.com forward slash notes. Fact number three, the brain does not feel pain. I'm going to repeat this one. The brain itself cannot feel pain. Unlike other parts of the body, such as your skin, your muscles, the brain lacks 
pain receptors called nociceptors. This means that the brain does not have the ability to sense or perceive pain signals. However, the structures surrounding the brain, such as meninges, which is the protective membranes covering the brain, and blood vessels do not contain pain receptors. You may be wondering then, why do we have migraines and headaches? Well, migraines and headaches may have various causes, but they typically arise from irritation or inflammation of these structures rather than direct pain originating from the brain tissue itself. Are you ready to activate your competitive advantage and achieve unparalleled success in your personal, professional, and your financial life? Welcome to the Limitless Learner Virtual Summit on August 5th, six and seven by registering for and attending this free three-day virtual event you'll learn how to double your brain power to double your earnings and maximize your free time just go to the limitless learner.com to secure your free spot fact number four the brain changes over time Contrary to popular belief, the brain is not a static organ, but rather a highly adaptable and malleable one. This is called neuroplasticity, the brain's remarkable ability to reorganize itself, form new connections, and even generate new neurons throughout life, even in older age. And here's the good news. Your brain is not fixed. About one third of it is genetic and based on biology, while two thirds is in your influence and even control. This means that we have the power to reshape our brains through what? experiences, learning, and intentional practices. Examples of great activities that improve cognitive function and stimulate neuroplasticity include things like lifelong learning, engaging in activities that involve learning new skills and acquiring knowledge, skills, and abilities. This can include reading, and I encourage everybody to enroll in our quick reading program at quickreading.com to triple your reading speed and comprehension. But taking courses or classes, learning a new language, playing musical instruments, or pursuing hobbies that require mental engagement and problem solving. And also cognitive training. Engage in activities specifically designed to challenge your cognitive abilities, such as memory games, puzzles, brain teasers, and mental math exercises. Many of you have enrolled in our memory improvement course at Quick Recall, kwikrecall.com. These activities target different cognitive functions, including memory, attention, problem solving, and executive functioning and can help improve cognitive skills and your overall brain health. Another thing is social interaction. Maintaining social connections, engaging in conversations, and forming new relationships can provide mental stimulation, also emotional support, and opportunities for learning and growth, all of which contribute to your brain health and performance. Remember that our social networks affect our neurological networks. And then finally, fact number five, as your body moves, your brain grooves. What I mean is that regular physical movement and exercise is good for your brain as it is good for your body by enhancing blood flow to your brain and bringing more oxygen there and reducing inflammation. Here are some of the best types of physical exercise for brain health. We know that aerobic exercise, also known as cardio exercise, involves activities that increase your heart rate and breathing, such as walking, running, cycling, swimming, and dancing. Aerobic exercise has been linked to improvements in cognitive function, memory, as well as reducing your risk of cognitive decline and dementia. How about mind-body exercises such as yoga, tai chi, and qigong? Combine physical movement with mindfulness practices such as deep breathing, meditation, and relaxation techniques. These exercises have been shown to reduce stress, improve your mood, and enhance cognitive function by promoting relaxation and reducing inflammation and supporting your overall brain health, reducing stress. Also one of my favorite, outdoor activities. Nature is an incredible 
incredible enhancer for your brain health. Outdoor activities such as hiking, gardening, and nature walks provide opportunities for physical exercise and movement while also exposing you to nature and natural environments. You're getting fresh air, sunlight, spending time outdoors has been associated with improvements of mood, stress reduction, and cognitive function, making it so beneficial for your brain health. I also have a YouTube video now with over 2 million views where I show you five brain exercises to improve your memory and focus before you work, study, or learn something new. You can find the link in our show notes again at jimquick.com forward slash notes. And if you're watching this on YouTube, remember to subscribe to my channel and join our community of 1.5 million subscribers, people who are dedicated to brain performance and health so we could stay in touch and continue learning about the brain together. Now, I'd love for you to share in the comments below or on social media at Jim Quick. What action are you taking after watching or listening to this episode to love your brain today? This is your brain coach, Jim Quick. Until next time, be limitless.